Hi, this is Kathleen this is from Sunny Mountain Patterns. I'm going to show you how to lengthen or shorten a pattern piece on Inkscape that you have for a projector. It's already been put together. Either you've used PDF Stitcher or the A0 or the projector file. So the easiest way to do it is one, you have to ungroup everything uh, by going to Object Ungroup by selecting everything. I've already done that. So here's my individual piece. So say I want to lengthen this. The easiest way, I'm going to show you the easiest way to do that is to grab the Bezier pen, which is Shift F6. Uh, we're going to do the lower part. So usually this is the simplest part. We're just going to trace around here. Um, notice that this is snapping to these points because I have snap at, uh, enabled, which is upper right hand corner all the way over here. Just click that button. If this is not snapping, okay. So now we have the piece over here. So say you know you need to move it over. You can either just manually like eyeball it, which is hard to do on Inkscape. So you might want to actually make a reasonably, oh good lord, that's too thick, a reasonably sized um, rectangle. This stroke style is much, much too thick. So well, let's go to one point. If you don't know how to get that, you go to Object, Fill and Stroke, or Shift Control F. I want to get the arrow back. So say I want to move it over by, oh, I don't want any fill, so lower click left hand fill. So I'm going to set this rectangle to the width that I want to move it. So uh, say I need to move it two inches down. If you don't have this set to inches, you can just change this to inches, millimeters, or centimeters, pixels if you really like to work in pixels. If you wanted the display to be in inches, you can go to File, Documents and Properties, and just drag this over, and here the units will, display units is what you want. You can of course change the units. I would change your page to be 200 inches. That way it definitely will print out the PDF properly and we're good. Um, or whatever the equivalent in the closest lower equivalent in uh, centimeters is, which it will actually convert for you if you change it, but 500. So I would bump down to 500 if, if you were doing in centimeters, but 200 inches is the max you're allowed to do in a PDF. If you're gonna print this out, if you're gonna do it straight from Inkscape, no big deal. If you're gonna, I'm sorry, if you're just gonna project straight from Inkscape, no big deal. So I have moved my, I've made a box that's two inches wide and I'm gonna just move this on over. Now, notice that this is demonstrably much larger than over here. We're gonna have to blend a little bit. So you can do that by clicking on it and pressing this little edit pass by notes button or F2. And we're going to do a little bit of blending. So we need to do probably I would go straight up to here. Now this ankle diameter is going to be the same ankle diameter here, but you're going to have a little bit more gap because you've made it longer. Um, you can of course change this angle here, but you're going to have a smaller ankle diameter. So you're gonna have to do a little bit of, like this is where the art comes in on how much blending you wanna do. You definitely don't wanna move this over. Uh, you could start off on the length and shorten line. But if you heard somebody, that's my little preschooler. You might wanna do a little happy medium, right? So. You can leave this as is, just thicken up this lines by going to the um, fill and stroke and bumping that up to like three points if you want. And then just remember to cut around here or you can choose to combine these two uh, by clicking both of these. Good Lord, if I could just click the right button and then go to path and uh, union. Oh, it's gonna tell you one of the objects not a path because it Inkscape imported my actual pattern as an object. So if that's the case, you go to a path and object to path. So you can combine these two and then please work.
union. Sometimes it does not like me. Try it one more time. Object to path. Are you kidding me? Okay, Inkscape Super does not like me. If it doesn't work, then just, just remember to do this outside. It's gonna be a little bit baggier because it's gonna be longer. Just remember that. Okay, that's how you lengthen and shorten. I think that's the easiest way to do it. So when you wanna print this out, go ahead and um, save as, and then drop it down to the PDF. And then just say okay for everything else. That's how you lengthen and shorten uh, on Inkscape. It takes, it's a little bit of an art form because you don't always want this extra bagginess. You just want the extra length. Then you're gonna have to do a little bit more blending. Um, yeah, I don't have time for that. So I hope that helps. Okay, thank you.